Hello folks, Greg Gilbert, host of Python's Paradise. I've just given the news this past Friday on this Victoria Day weekend that I'll be uh, employed in Toronto. You know, I'm uh, leaving for a job there that I have some skill in and uh, some experience and um, I'm very, very nervous about the move, I'll tell you that. I've never done a move like that. I lived here in New Brunswick, Fredericton, New Brunswick, my whole life. And I'll be 51 in uh, July. But um, what I do want to share, though, is um, I've been here at the station here since 2005, but I didn't start the podcast until 2015, uh, you know, and uh, I'm not leaving the station. I just won't be here physically, and I'm hoping to make uh, trips up here maybe every, I don't know. I'd like to do it every four months, you know, so I could see my family once every quarter, but uh, if not, then I'll do it every six months, but I've been wanting to go to Toronto ever since uh, Lisa Langwa first invited me to a sister at Horrorama in Toronto, and uh, all started with a conversation about why I don't travel. And uh, she invited me, and I could not say no. I've known, uh, I've been familiar with her as Patsy from class of 1984 since the 80s when I saw that movie from my uncle's old video store, which I remember on Main Street back in the day. But um, here I am at the station. I thought I'd do just a little bit of a tour here. See, it's gone through some renovations, you know. Um, the station manager office and stuff has changed because some stuff's going on here with the, the student union building. But um, I've known a lot of people here, you know. Like, like I've had Chris Waddell... We used to do the Crazy Train show on earlier this year, and unfortunately we lost Joe Blades uh, as uh, COVID was happening, you know, and uh, I never had him on the show, but uh, what a pioneer for this place, you know, but anyway, this is a lobby area, the window there. Got some uh, chairs here. I don't know what's being seen here, but now here we got a big, big corridor, corridor area, and uh, I like this. Look at that! A big, big, big painting. Look at that. Boy, that's impressive. That's been here a while. Yeah, we got the. Let's see what I can show here, just to give me some memories here. Yeah, they've been packing a lot of stuff away. We got a. I like that door. That used to be on one of the other doors, for the. I think it was um, the station. Uh, well, Bondo used to have it on her. No, no, maybe it was. Yeah, maybe it was her office. I don't know. I don't remember. All this uh, stuff all over the door, but right now they got stuff kind of stacked away in here and haven't been in this room much. Not much, but uh, you know, it's kind of almost like a storage. You know, we got a bunch of uh, cabinets that weren't here before, but like I said, um, the building's doing some stuff different and uh, got fire exit here. Now these had to all be moved. These are albums. Look at all the LPs. Wow. And uh, some of them don't look like in the best shape, but uh, some of these have been in, like, the, I think the station here, if I remember correctly, I think opened in 1969, the three years before I was born, you know. And, uh, 1969, the year that Midnight Cowboy and Easy Rider and On Her Majesty's Secret Service and movies like that came out. 
you know, and uh, we got a lot of albums. You know, we got turntable here. Window. See, this used to be a room for something else, but uh, like I said, I think there'd be an elevator or something being put in at this building, so. And uh, so things had to be uh, shifted around. Like, I don't know what we have for records and stuff here, you know. I'd like to be able to haul something out that I'm familiar with, but I can't exactly. Like, a lot of these are so faded. I know, huh? Hmm. Oh, I'm familiar with this from uh, the uh, Electric North album. I did it for love. Ha! Harlequin, okay. Well, we got something here that I'm, at least I know what that song is. Okay. Okay. So I'll go out of here. I thought I'd do a little, a little bit of a tour, kind of. I mean, I'm here next week, but get another office area. I got that cool painting, and uh, here is where we go in for the studio. I'm just gonna take a trip back here for a minute. Like I said, we're busy doing a lot of uh, renovating here, so uh, it's a bit of a mess, but they'll get her straightened out. We've had people at this station for a, that's been here longer than me, you know, and uh, and I'm still planning to stay a member. I'm um, Bondo, who does, uh, I know, more than one show here. She was station manager. She's program director right now. And uh, she uh, does has her hands in so many things here. She's going to show me how the steps to send uh, stuff here. But uh, but nonetheless, uh, my show will still carry on here. I don't want to leave CHSR, you know. But I understand. I don't know if it's still the case, but somebody from Australia does a show here that used to be here physically. So so. Here's another room. This is a uh, another studio. Let me turn the lights on. There we go. Looks into Studio B there. And this is Studio C. We got uh, get a nice. Uh, board here I'm not sure what people do in this room but I don't know all the ins and outs here's studio B now this is where I recorded a lot of my interviews from uh, 2015 to 2020 when COVID hit it was in here in studio B you go here and there you go. I want to sit down here for a minute because um, this is where I used to sit and do interviews. In fact, it was here where I talked to Lisa when she invited me to Toronto. You know, we got that little board. Yeah. So um, now I do them on Zoom at my apartment, which is a lot more convenient. But uh, look at that. Computer. Yep, uh, this was interesting. So uh, this is where I did all the recording of interviews up until Zoom. 
Now, I'm going in here. One of my interviews is playing on the flash drive. This is... This is uh, Studio A, where the live shows happen. You can hear me in the background. My interview with... Uh, my second interview with Princess Victoria. Terry was always a really, really nice man. He's another one that's not doing well. No, he's yep. not, but boy, oh boy, he, he wrestled until he couldn't anymore. Yeah. Yeah. Well, did you hear about Marty Jannetty? What, what happened? There we go. We got a lot Something of places there happen. where uh, what? you got a, had a doctor who did both his ankles. Places. Uh, uh -huh. He went to rehab. Let me see if I can get this to he's come back through better. To Marty Jannetty. We got uh, one, two, three, yeah. four. You can have about the uh, three people here besides yourself. So uh, there you go. There's fit on it and whatnot. There you go. There I am interviewing uh, Princess Victoria. Yeah. I turn it down a little bit, you know, but. Uh, yeah, it's me on there uh, interviewing uh, Princess Victoria. I just uh, that was from 2021, two years ago. But um, I just kind of stick the flash drive in and let them play. And uh, yeah, here we are. But yeah, this is where we do the live show. Um, get the microphone right there. We talk into and uh, yeah. It's it's been quite the ride. Um, I'm very very nervous about making this move, but uh, I feel it's something I got to do. And um, I landed a, a job at a hospital, you know, um, which is going to be pay me a lot more money, and it's something that I can do. Uh, I like doing the hospital work, but uh, I saw it as an opportunity a gateway to Toronto and Toronto is a place of happening you know like there's a lot of people that like New Brunswick and I get it but New Brunswick is I don't know when I got to Toronto for the first time it was the first time I've been someplace and not been homesick and um, it was just like so much there a uh, great way to meet people especially in what I do you know, uh, the, me being in Toronto means I'll have greater access to the conventions. But um, but I'm extremely nervous about traveling down there for this move, and I'm pretty sure Skittles is not looking forward to it. But not that he knows about that right now, but he will. But um, nonetheless, I'll, I'm going to try to make it back here. I'm, I'm I'd like to come back here for vacations like every four months if I could but I don't know if I can make that happen so at least every six but but I don't mind uh, working the holidays and stuff like that and I got something to offer that hospital so Toronto General Hospital one of the top five hospitals in the world so uh, not Canada the world so they got me so uh, here I am at CHSR, and um, this is not farewell. You'll still hear me, and of course, you can see me online, whether it be YouTube, uh, Anchor Podcast of Spotify. You know, my stuff's going up on there as well. So, um, so I'm still gonna be doing the Zoom interviews. It's just gonna be a. Um, it'll be in Toronto. So. Uh, I'm very anxious, but I'm also very excited at the same time. It's a new chapter in my life, and uh, looking forward. I thought I would do this little tour through CHSR before I uh, head it out. So I think I'll just end it right there on the door. See it just our door.